All right, we'll take a look at this set of grips here. Neewer, I'm gonna call it Neewer since it's spelled N-E-E-W-E-R. And small rig. So they're about the same price, $35 or so. The thing that I like about this one, the Neewer, again, it's there's two E's in it, so I'm gonna call it Knee instead of N. Because some people were calling it newer, and it's just confusing to hear people talk about it newer or newer, but it's spelled with two e's, so I'm going to call it newer. Uh, small rig grip, which is this one. I usually like small small rig products, and um, and I still do. Um, they fit really well. They don't scratch anything up. You know, they fit just perfect the way they should. Uh, as far as these grips go, I've had them for different types of cameras, Fuji and so on. Um, but the thing that I like about this one, Neewer, is well the red line and um, the fact that the uh, the grip part right here is not super grippy. It's sort of a I'm trying to like vinyl or something. Uh, whereas this one is like like super grippy rubber rubber, and you might want to use that you know the small ring grip if you're you know, hand holding your camera without a, a lens, or a lens, a camera strap. I usually use a sling strap across my chest, you know, like diagonally. And so I've always got a strap on my camera. So in that case, I like this one being a little bit more slick um, to reposition my hand as I'm moving the camera around just easier. Um, the other thing is the Neewer has little bump out for the for the thumb back here, whereas the small rig grip does not. So I like that a little better too. Uh, and let's face it, if you're buying a ZF, Nikon ZF, which is what these are made for, and the ZF here, um, I'll put these on and let you see it in here just a second. Um, the red line just adds something to it. And, um, you know, if you're buying a ZF, part of the reason I think most people buy it is because of the, you know, the retro look and this just adds something to it. It looks a little better. Um, and just real quick before we look at the bottom, both of these have a rubber surface here and rubber over here. And of course this whole thing is rubber in the back. I'm trying to watch my phone over here. That's why I'm using the monitor of the video with the uh, SnapRidge app. So may have to reposition now and then. So they're both you know, not going to tear up the camera. They fit really well. And uh, as long as you put them on straight, everything fits real well. And again, the part that's mating to the camera is rubber, so you're not gonna scratch up the bottom of the camera. Um, they both have little metal pin to help position it. And on the bottom, uh, this is the Neewer over here on this side. They both have a similar setup. Um, little screw with the thumb piece on it you can pull that out seems like the uh, this little lever whatever you want to call it here on the screw on the small rigs a little sturdier as far as it being um, when you push it over flat it's definitely not going to come out like that and, and uh, you know cause the camera to rock around when you set it on the flat surface this one does a pretty good job but it's just a little bit loose I think it's probably going to be okay but um, I could probably take it out and put a pair of pliers on it, tighten it up if I really wanted to. But anyway, similar down here. Um, there's a couple spots for the tripod mount on the small rig and on the newer. There's two. One lines up, you know, the center of the lens, and uh, one off to the side a little bit there. So that's basically it. Um, not a ton of differences between them, um, but again, I like this one right here. The newer, just because of the the surface here, I like a little better. Like like that it has the thumb piece in the back and um, the red line. So I'll just put the small rig on the camera first. Now Nikon has been providing this small rig grip in some countries um, as part of a package, but um, not here in the U.S. So I bought this one myself. So you just screw it onto the bottom of the camera, just make sure it's lined up well so you don't have it cockeyed and scratch the camera. So that's what it's looking like. 
on the ZF. This is the 35 F1.4, the Z-mount lens from Nikon, the new one. So I'll do a little video about that in another week or so. Um, I'll just spin the camera around and you can look at it as I'm talking, but um, there's other videos about that 35 out there already. <clears throat> and um, it's a good performing lens. I think it's probably a great lens, maybe categorized as a great lens. I just haven't had a whole lot of time with it. But, I mean, as you would expect, it's not, it's not uh, at the level as the S-Line lens, the 35 f1.8. So that's, again, that's the uh, small rig. Take that off real quick. Put the newer on here, and you'll see why I like it better. I just like the, you know, the look of it, and once again, you know, that's that surface on the grip. I like that a little bit better instead of being a really super grippy rubber. Because again, I'm always using a camera strap, so I'm not really concerned about accidentally dropping it or anything, slipping out of my hand. Okay. So here is what the kneewer looks like. You can still, on both of them, still reach, you know, the front dial, just by the way, the front dial here. Still easy to reach. Um, I think it's probably a little easier to turn on this one because your, your hand's not kind of, your finger's not bumping up against this really grippy rubber. So it might be just a slight bit easier to use on this grip, but both of them you can still access it with no problem. There's the side. And again the back, you know how it has that little spot for the thumb there. So if you're holding it like this. I think it's about it for this video. No high-tech videos from me, sorry. No fancy editing or anything. I <laughs> see these are straight out of the camera. I just upload them right out of the camera. That's what you get on my channel most of the time. I would like to get more into video editing, but you know I've got you know a job not related to photography, so I'm busy with that. And um, still, photography is just much easier and quicker, and that's what I like to focus my time on. So instead of shooting video and eating up a lot of storage space and then editing video and you know it's much easier or much better at uh, editing photos and getting the color right uh, than I am with video so this kind of thing you get from me but a lot of people seem to like it just simple videos and just talk about something and that people might be interested in because that's obviously the only people the only reason people find these videos that they're interested in whatever the product is and they want to see a little bit more about it and hopefully try to talk about a few things that some other people don't and just to give you some ideas about it you know before you buy it if, if you're interested in it so all right i'll use a snap ridge app stop the video and you see my flower beds full of those uh rudbeckia back there all right thanks for watching